Hey everybody, so um, I'm curious to look at Gemini. What is Gemini? What do they need to know? Or what do you guys need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Oops, that was an ugly shuffle. What does Gemini need to know? Community. Okay, Jimena. Healing chaos. Mm. <clears throat> There's a lot. Um, I don't know why I'm so loud. Protection. Protection. All right, Gemini, and love. Okay, so you have love at the bottom. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Gemini, you are going through some type of change. Um, there's a lot of butterflies here. So, butterflies deal with transformation. So, going from one thing to the next, kind of like blossoming into what it is that you need to blossom into. I don't know why I'm screaming. I don't know why I'm yelling, <laughs> but there is something that was a traumatic event or a traumatic situation in your life and you're turning to family members, friends, people need, you're looking for help from someone. You're lost. You don't know what your next step is because there's something that occurred, this healing chaos. Healing chaos means something that is destructive, but the result is that it's going to change either how you think about something or it's going to change your situation. So it's like something bad had this is kind of like a tower, a tower moment, but a positive tower moment. So something happened that shook up your life, disrupted your life, but it's surrounded by change. It's going to change something. You're going to move into something and you're going to be changing for the better because we have rainbows there too, which is about um, happiness. So this change is going to be something happy. But we have this protection here. So it's like even though you're going to have a change, I feel like you're going to need to protect yourself from old behaviors. That's what I'm getting from this with this protection card. So you're going to go through this transformation because of something that disrupted your life. And it's something major that's been destructive. Something that destroyed you. And you're going to have to protect yourself. Because I feel like if you heal yourself from this. Or you try to start this. People are going to want to pull you back in to your old ways. I feel like you're trying to come out of something. I feel like you're trying to come out of old ways of doing things. With this protection here. And people are going to, going to try and drag you back into it. They're going to try and drag you back into the chaos. And they're only doing that because they have no, no direction. And at the bottom we have love. So this could be something about a relationship. It could be a relationship that needed to end. So that you could find out who you are. So you can progress in life. Um... It could be a, a relationship that you're wanting to go towards, but you're fear you're fearful of how that's going to be when it comes to those that are close to you. I feel like people are dragging you back. That's what I'm getting from this. And that's why you need to protect yourself. Because there's people in your corner that you think are there to help you, Gemini, but they're really not. I know I said I wasn't going to do Gemini. You feel alone in this situation. Look at that. I just said that. A new romantic cycle begins. So this all, this disruption has a lot to do with your love life. 
A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I believe we're, are we in Libra? I think we're in Libra season. So something is going to come about. I feel like there's a balance that needs to be made. And I feel like you're asking friends, family about this situation. You're telling them the details that it was something that was disruptive to your life. And you could be trying to protect your feelings or you could be, you be, this could be a message to you to protect yourself from people who are wanting to drag you down. Because you have healing chaos in between community and protection. So that lets me know that there's somebody in your corner, Gemini, that does not want you to be happy. So they're doing things or telling you things so that way you can perceive a certain situation a certain way. And I feel like this has something to do with um, some type of romantic connection or situation that you have. Your hard work is paying off. So I feel like you are trying to work on yourself. And this is new moon in Capricorn. So by Capricorn season, so end of December, going into January, something that you've been wanting is going to come into play. And I'm getting work because obviously Capricorn is about stability. So something that you want is going to come to you, something you've been working hard for. It's stability. Um, your finances actually could be doing well too then we have surrender to divine so I feel like you have to let things go Gemini just let them happen don't try to block whatever this is coming in just allow yourself to feel what you're feeling because when you surrender to the, to the divine that means you're you're allowing you're allowing yourself to just be you're letting things happen naturally, going with the flow, not trying to force something, not trying to hide something, not trying to keep yourself from your true, your true feelings. And this is the full moon. What is the next one? Look, your commitment is being tested. Have faith in your dreams. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, something is going to be coming to play. I feel like you're working on yourself. I feel like you're trying to work on your stability. Some of you could be trying to get um, your own place, a better job, a more consistent job. And you've just been doing everything. I'm getting like, I'm getting like self-sabotage type. And actually, if it's not work, it's this romance. If you look at it, these are both new moon cards. So you have new moon in Libra and new moon in Capricorn. So I feel that by um, end of Libra season, Gemini, there's going to be some new romantic person coming into your life. This could, um, I'm not sure if it's old or new. I'm going uh, towards new. This is going to be a completely new person. And I feel like this person is going to give you everything that you want. But you're going to have issues with worrying about what other people think. And by Cap uh, Capricorn season, I feel like you're going to finally allow yourself or surrender yourself to this. And that's what you need to protect is this connection that is coming through. So we have, damn, we're throwing stuff around. We have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So this is about compromising and realizing that not everyone's out to get you. You have to have some type of feeling inside towards other people. And it's not, it's not forcing you, but it's just like, excuse me, have some compassion. Oh my gosh. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Wow. So this is letting me know that you already have somebody or this person that's coming through is someone, someone in your, oh my gosh, can you talk? Someone in your corner who is going to uplift you 
and steer you in the right direction. They're not intentionally trying to hurt you. They're just trying to show you the things that you can actually work on because they believe in you. So this person, look at your friends. Like I said, the community cards here. So you are talking to your friends and family, but there's someone that is in your life for a reason. And you have to figure out what is that reason. And I feel like they're there to teach you something. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Which, yeah, you can't change your past. You can only know go with your future. So what I'm getting from this, this kind of tying it up a little bit. Oops. Look at that. I'm going to get to that one in a second. But what I'm getting from this is that there's something that went wrong in a situation with somebody. And you're needing to see how someone else feels. Don't just always go by with, with what you're feeling. And notice that certain people are in your life for a reason. Ask yourself, why are you here? That's what I always ask when people just pop up. Ask yourself, what are you here for? And don't live in regret. Change that. So this regret card being here, that's like the five of cups or five of swords. I guess they five of cups. Yeah, I guess it can be that too. Um, <laughs> you're feeling regretful about something. You have regrets about either leaving someone or allowing someone in. But at the bottom, we have love. So... I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So you're being called to look at things with love. And it's like, I feel like you may have had guards up and you had assumed that people were going to do things like self-sabotage. And it's like it caused a lot of issues with your life because you treated the same, a new person the same as other people. And that kind of manifested into them doing the same things. If you go into situations already believing that something's going to happen, eventually it will it will happen. So you have to be positive. You have to think positive about any situation that you put yourself in. So it's like you have to soften your heart and protect yourself from people who mean you no good. And that includes family. Sometimes your family doesn't want to see you happening so they want you to continue to do for them and no one's looking at what you need or how to help you people think oh no that's my family they're not going to do that like family can do you dirty for real i don't put it past nobody but there's a lot of love here i feel like you have to connect with your emotions i feel like this is somebody Whoever's watching this is somebody that has a hard time showing their emotions. And all they know is pain. All you know is pain. So we have tact. I speak and act with care. <laughs> We're just saying that. Uh, remembering that impulsive words or a harsh tone can sometimes hurt others. If it feels like I'm walking on eggshells, I'll remind myself that those eggshells might actually be a shop full of china and I might actually be a bull. Then I'll rem remind myself to stop mixing metaphors. <laughs> that was just being funny. But the real message here is that you have to watch how you speak. I already said that. That if you speak certain things, they will, be they will come into existence. You can't be harsh. You can't take those things back. You have to be mindful of the things that you say. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do... Okay, I just did way too many of these today. Dang, this looks good for you, Jermaine. I speak and act with care. Empathy. This is causing... This is call, calling out to you guys to... Go after what you want. Like, there's nothing wrong with protecting yourself. 
but don't let it lead you because by doing so you're automatically not trusting that others are there for the right reason even if they show you otherwise And your commitment is being tested, meaning okay. it's up to you to decide how this how this is resolved. We have um, nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So maybe you guys have a child. Maybe you're needing to learn to soften your heart and care for others. Being your empress energy, loving and caring. You have clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. I didn't show the first one. So yeah, you guys already know. I feel like you guys, with that card coming out, that means you already have some type of gift to where you can hear things and you feel them inside like you have inner knowing courage be courageous and stand up for your beliefs so this is what i feel like you need to stand up to these people that are like causing you issues take back your power use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life so what I'm feeling is that maybe you might have regrets about certain uh, decisions that you made. I also feel like you're possibly blaming other people for your problems, but you have to look within yourself. Allow time to heal, and during that time, you need to have courage. And realize that you are in control of your life. You can't let other people control it for you. If you want to do something, do it. I'm ready to be. Okay. If you want to do something, do it. <laughs> she ready for that. <laughs> and don't let anybody try to steer you away from it. <clears throat> yeah, remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So that's the end of this message. Um, if you guys like that, let me know. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I don't know if it's going to be Gemini. I just felt like doing that today. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like that.